Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. It's the no spoiler review of the movie Joker, directed by Todd Phillips and starring Joaquin Phoenix. I'll give my honest review of the movie in its entirety. Not just the performance, not just the direction. That's all coming up next. <laughs> It's Bunny. Hey to all of my subscribers. I missed you so much. I'm glad that you're back. For all of the visitors, welcome. And I hope that you enjoy this review. So much so that I gain your kudos and you subscribe to my channel because I don't know if you noticed. Anyone who subscribes to me, I subscribe back. So let's get to it. Anytime that you want to view a movie, I request that as a viewer, you go in with a clean palette, a clean viewer's palette. If you walk into a movie, especially when it involves characters that we've seen before in franchises, books, etc., it's not good to compare things that have different writers, different directors, a different perception of cinematography, and the cherry on the top, the actors. Let's just be honest. There's only one Heath Ledger. There's only one Jack Nicholson. If you go into it comparing all of the other actors that have given their perception of a character, it will damper your ideas before you even go into the theater. So that is one thing that you must do before viewing this movie. Understand, different budget, different director, different cast, different cinematography. With that being said, this is Todd Phillips' interpretation of the solo DC series, The Clown Prince of Crime. I strongly encourage you to look at the trailer if you have not yet because I want to tread very lightly and not giving any spoilers and just review the movie as a whole. Let's talk about the pros. The pros of this movie was the amazing cinematography, the colors, the dark grays, the blacks, the browns, the sounds of metal and bringing you in as a viewer that we are in this place of gloom and sadness. The performance by Mr. Phoenix is nothing short but brilliant. It's very hard for an actor to stay in darkness for the fluidity of the film. If you've noticed, there are other films to where I'm supposed to be in this dark place and the actor doesn't do a good job with staying in that dark place and you feel disconnected because you don't feel like it's been con been consistent. But Mr. Phoenix stays consistent throughout the film and you don't feel anywhere that he's in and out of character. He is that character throughout the film and not only being in that set of darkness, but being able to pull out a <laughs> laugh of someone breaking is absolutely amazing. Because if I said to you, hey, cry right now on the spot, pull out tears, let's go. Or, or feel sad. That is more difficult for an actor than to come from a place of comedic performance and happiness because that's a feeling that we don't mind feeling. So him staying in that place of darkness, wherever he pulled it from, was great. Now let's get into the cons. There are unnecessary backstory cuts in this movie. It didn't flow with the movie at all. In this movie, the main con for me is what is the message as the director are you trying to tell us about this character? Am I feeling sorry for the Joker? Am I understanding the Joker or am I learning about Gotham? <laughs> I have to tread so lightly because I don't want to give anything away. But that was one of the main things. The second con to me is that Mr. Todd Phillips, a lot of people are saying that this movie was so dark and gray and, and grimace and I just didn't feel like he went there, like he could have went there. I felt that Mr. Phillips, if you're going to go dark, go dark, man, go all the way and pull it out. I felt like he held back in what this movie really could have been. 
So that was missing from me. And I tried to think, what is missing from this film? And that is it. If you're gonna go there, if it's gonna be dark and gritty, you really need for you really need to go there. And I don't know if it was just the timidness or uh, the uh, I don't know. Just as a director, you're thinking, oh, should I really make it that gritty? And yes, you should have made it that you should have made it that gritty because you got Mr. Phoenix, who is clearly capable of going all in. And that is what was missing for me. You didn't go there and you could have. You had an amazing lead and it's just that little bit that pulls me out. Also, the timelines and suggested points in the movie where certain characters are crossing paths or we're learning about certain characters didn't mesh well with the film. And that was a hiccup in the film. Overall, I think that Mr. Phillips gets a plus for attempting to see this character in a totally different way. He thought, I'm not going to do what everybody else is doing, which is a very huge risk when it comes to a movie. When you're doing something that nobody else has done and when you're trying to go there, that's very difficult. So I don't want to harsh tone that attempt too badly because there was at least a, an attempt. To it. So the fact that he at least tried to go there, he gets a plus from me. Overall, I give this movie a B minus. It gets the B minus from Mr. Phoenix and his performance and the cinematography. The grade down from an A being at an A plus and taking it all the way to a B minus was the speed of the film. It was slow in parts. For no reason. The backstories placed in there for no reason. So it brings it down. So it gets a B minus for me. Let me know what you think um, in the comments. Please do not spoil it for everybody else. This is a no spoiler review. Is the movie the bomb.com? Is it the best performance of the lifetime? And it's just, just I left in like, oh, let's give this, let's get this movie an Oscar. No, it was good, but it didn't suck. Uh, if any awards would be given out, it would be given to Mr. Phoenix and not as the movie. Give it as a lead, but not an Oscar for the movie because there were a lot of hiccups, hits and misses in the film. So let me know what you think. Subscribe if you love this video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any posts. I know a few of you say, I didn't know when you post this. You have to hit the notification bell so it will alert you when there is a new post. So let me know what you think. Also follow me on Instagram, same profile name, officialbun underscore E. Bye.